What's going on everybody? It's Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video we have a special guest. You might have seen him in some of my old videos. Uh, well, one old video. <laughs> but basically today's video, he's a salesman. He does social media marketing. He has over 3 million followers on Instagram. So we're going to be going over some stuff about sales as well as growing a social media uh, page. So let's get into it. So this is Yanni, Instagram influencer. I'll let him give a more you know, actual introduction of himself. But he has over 3 million followers on Instagram on his food page. That's sort of how he connected. Also, if you've been following me for a while, you know I had that food page. I actually just sold it. But uh, Yanni, want to give a quick introduction to who you are a little bit? Definitely, yeah. Yanni Georgilakis. I, uh, I'm the founder and owner of Foodie Fetish on Instagram, one of the biggest food pages. 3.2 million followers. Started around a little over three years ago. Um, you know, started from zero. Uh, hustled. Worked really hard. Now, it's at 3.2 million. So that's, I mean, that's the, the fast story right there. And that is like, is that full time or what else are you doing? No, I'm a, I'm a pharmaceutical rep also, uh, full time. And I also do a lot of, you know, event work, photography, stuff like that. Travel as well. I, I do. Sponsored traveling though. No. Yeah, yeah. With the, that's with one the, of the perks. The food page too, yeah. It's one like of the huge perks. Perk, huge perk. Like when I first met him, we went out to eat. You know, I expect, you know, bring the bill, whatever we pay for it. <laughs> This guy orders the whole menu. We don't have to pay for anything. We pay for nothing. They give us everything we want and we're good to go. That's sort of, there's a few, a lot of perks to yeah, no, being a, a, a theme influence with a lot of followers, especially here in Miami to everything that's going on and all the resources around. Uh, you know, the free food. You just went to uh, like whole yeah. Greek trip for yeah, like yeah. two weeks or whatever it was, all sponsored. But in this video, I sort of want to talk about sales a little bit. Okay. I know you're a pharmaceutical rep, you know, yeah. you sell things, you whether it. it's, you know, an e-com business, e-commerce business, uh, you know, doing your actual yeah. you know, pharmaceutical stuff, or even selling like a sponsored post for your Instagram page. For sure, for sure. But a lot of people here watching this video, you know, maybe they want to get into like direct sales, whether it's phone sales or, you know, person to person, business mm -hmm. to business. Or a lot of people I would say that follow me, they want to start a social media marketing agency and they know how to run ads and all that stuff, but they don't really know exactly how to close a client, how do they, you know, get the person yeah. to actually pay them that retainer, you know, upfront fee, whatever it is. So I sort of just want to go through a few things that maybe go through your head when you're trying to close a client or, you know, whether it's high ticket or low ticket and sort of your experience and take on it. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, the biggest thing about sales is you got to be a good listener because you got to know what the, you know, potential client, what they want and the way they see things. And that way, you know where to go after, after they, you know, after, yeah. they, after they have, maybe they have a, a setback about something or they're looking for a particular specific thing, you know how to tailor that message to close them if you're just not hearing what they're saying and then just go into what you want to hear and like push your product without yep. hearing them first, that's a huge thing. So, so, so listening yeah. is major, um, major key to... So like listening and understanding what their needs and what their preferences are Correct. and sort of you know referring that to the product or service you are offering in order to you know create that you know perfect tie and yeah you gotta, make the deal you gotta out. see their their pain points and hit on those pain points yeah so that you know like you can yeah like let's say, for an solution. example like let's say you have a social media marketing agency and you're trying to close a restaurant as a client and you know let's say they need more sales they want you know more followers on social media uh, you know, whatever it is, they just want to have more exposure and get to that point. Like, you know, like let's say they don't have enough followers on Instagram, you know, you're going to promote and sort of, you know, get to that point. Yeah. You know, oh, you need more followers. You know, I have a 3 million follower Instagram page. I can yeah. give you shout out, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, you're going to get exposure. You're going to get brand exposure. And if you're looking, depending on the clients looking to franchise, I mean, so yeah, they're looking for direct marketing locally or they have a company, they have a, they have a restaurant that they want to franchise. I mean, it really helps them to get the word out anyways, because it could be somewhere from, if we're in Miami, there could be someone from California that's like, oh wow, I didn't know this concept existed. So now they know because of the social media aspect, they saw it on Instagram, they contact you, that could lead to more sales, more franchising. So it depends what, what route the business wants to, uh, yeah. is, is trying to go. That's where I want to tie this video also with social media marketing as far as like growing Instagram pages too, and not just sales directly. Um, so I know you said three years you've been you know, yeah. growing the account and it's now at 3.2 million followers. And I know yeah. when I first started my food account, you were at like 500K or something like that. Yeah. And then yeah. from there, now you've gained like 2.7 million subscribers yeah. or followers, followers yeah. on Instagram, which is crazy growth. So within like the first year of, you know, growing that mm -hmm. account, like what, what stake were you at? Like how many followers do you have? Like so the, the first six months, 
I was at, I got to 10,000 actually in the first so six It's like months. a small reach, like all this stuff yeah. takes so much time. Yeah, so it takes, the, the, the first part is always the hardest. I, mean, I remember when I was, I was, I was, when I reached 10K, I was extremely happy. Yeah. And now it's, I mean, I'm like, if I get an extra 10K, it's like, oh, okay, that's <laughs> That's, that's a few days of work. Yeah, I'm like, that's, it's okay, but I mean, the first 10K was huge, huge, because I, I mean, I started from zero. I mean, I would be happy the first time I got like, like, tw like 20 likes on a picture. I was like, wow, like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Those milestones. Yeah, mi those milestones, it's yeah. It's like making money, you know, you have a milestone to make a hundred dollars and then it turns into a thousand, then it just starts like yeah, cause snowballing. It's, you know, it's, it's your business too. And yeah. You, and you put in so much work in it. So, so seeing those little milestones that add up, I mean, and now I look back, it's, it's such a simple Yeah, and, you know, as time goes on, it's sort of, you know, they become small milestones, but at first they were For sure. you know, huge. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what yeah. would you say are like a few key points to growing an Instagram account? You know, a lot of people expect it yeah. to be like quick, like again, 100K in a week or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Like what would you say are some key points, like consistency or, you know? Yeah, what? for sure consistency is one of the biggest, definitely. Um, I don't think I've skipped a day, maybe a day, max. I mean, in the whole, if well, that. If, 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 yeah. if that in the whole three and maybe th almost three and a half years. So I've been, you know, it's, it's hard, yeah. There's days that you don't wanna do it. There's days, even on vacation. I mean, unfortunately, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm the only one that runs the page now because I haven't gotten to a point where I wanna let that responsibility go because I mm -hmm. wanna make sure the, the content yeah. and the quality. It's to where you wanna be. Exactly. That's so, another thing that I've yes. seen, like as far as his page, like my food page, I only reposted other people's videos and tagged them, you know? I was growing, but it was not real, like, Content that I actually created, not even pictures or videos. But one thing about him, yeah, he's starting to know his own stuff. He reposts other p people's videos, of course, but like a lot of it is his own videos he makes and edits himself or pictures he takes. Yeah. And I feel like that's contributed to a lot of your success with the Instagram page because definitely. a lot of people see the original content, and not just reposted the stuff they've seen on another page. For sure, that yeah, that definitely helps because they see that not only. I mean, obviously the page is good because of the activity, but they also see that if they hire you, that you're able to produce something quality. Also with the growth, when I started doing my own videos as well, which, I mean, I started in the beginning, but when Instagram introduced the video, I had photography background, so I knew you know, how to show the pictures, the lighting, but then when inter Instagram introduced the video, I started playing with video, and then I, I learned to love it, because for a lot of food videos, a lot better um, expo like you know, it, it's a better experience yeah. if it's if you see the video like a cheese first chocolate time. oozing out rather than just a chocolate cake. The waffle thing, I repost that like five times. <laughs> I used to repost that waffle his, from Greece. Yes, I yes. used to repost his videos, and they would be like Same millions one. of views. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, funny. so that another reason what helped what sped up the growth is my original content would get reposted oh, yeah. a lot because it was viral content. A lot of Back then, a lot of bigger pages than me would post it. I mean, World Star. This guy's getting reposted yeah. by World Star like every a day. A lot of yeah, World Star started. I mean, like eight months ago, they posted yeah. one, and then now I didn't even like, think about that. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that helped. That helped too. That helped 100%. too. Yeah, because I mean, they have a lot of followers. Also, the exposure. I mean, a lot of celebrities follow them. So I mean that you definitely had some celebrity exposure. Yeah, no, views, for sure. likes, definitely. follows, whatever. Definitely, definitely, There's definitely some people out there. So if you had to give like. Any piece of advice to a young entrepreneur or someone just aspiring to entrepreneur, they don't have to be young, mm -hmm. um, whether it's, you know, closing people on sales or Instagram growth, you know, what would you say would be some of the key things that you want to give advice? Well, first and foremost, you have to know your product inside and out because if you're trying to sell the product to someone and they're asking questions and you're not, you're not well, you're not sold on the product, that's the other thing. You have to be sold on it. You have to love it. You have to, I mean, know inside and out for whatever objection someone's gonna uh, throw at you. You have to have an objection, you have to handle that objection and, and spin it around. Mm -hmm. So you have to know that. You, I mean, every way that someone can go, you have to know the, the other side to you know stop them and, and turn it into a positive. That's definitely... Yeah, just like being all in with it, instead all, of being all like, in, yep. someone asks you, you know, how many followers can you grow me on Instagram a month? Yeah. You're like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe 10,000, maybe. Yeah, like, you have yeah. to be all in confident, like, you know, we're going to do this, this, and that in order to get you to this specific uh, milestone, we don't have a specific time frame to guarantee, but we know it will happen, like, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I yeah no, you have to give yeah. direct, you know, what's going to happen. You want, they want to see someone that's confident about their product, someone that's confident about the service that they're selling, so, you know, showing... Uh, I mean, testimonials always helps, or you know, some sort of, of feedback from other people that always helps for credibility as well. Yep. 
And what would you say about Instagram growth? What key would you give one, one piece of advice? So for sure, the consistency. Also, the second one would be to interact with the followers. Definitely. I mean, especially as you, as you tend to get bigger. Because mm -hmm. I, I get people that DM me all the time and I respond to them and a lot of times they can't believe that I'm responding to them. Yep. So that really creates a connection with the them. the brand and the credibility. Yep. It creates a connection. It becomes so just like, from like being a fan to being like, they see it as like a friendship, almost yes, like some kind of relationship. Definitely. Yeah. There's a lot of people that, I mean, even ask me for like advice. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. And you know That's what? Great. I mean, I'll give them what I have. I don't mind doing that, but it's, it's great yeah. because it, it establishes that, you know, they're, I mean, a lot of people aren't doing that, especially with this following. That's so that's lot. that's one of the things that set you apart. You also want to set yourself apart. So those are the ways. Get at that. I get a lot of comments about not opening my DMs. <sighs> yeah, you gotta get. You gotta get. <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put Yanni's Instagram stuff below in the description if you want to go check him out. You got it. But uh, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something from Yanni. So if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Peace.